today we're in Ramblin' Pines Campground in Woodbine, Maryland, and we're going to do a walk around and review for you. But before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button, also hit the like button, and hit the notification bell to get notified of new videos when they become available. We are in the very back loop of the campground. Our slate is right over there. You come in from this direction and to exit, you come around this loop here and go around. And I'll show you guys, it turns into a, a two-way traffic though, which is very tight coming up a steep hill. One thing I wanted to mention is it looks like to me that most of these sites are seasonal or permanent sites at this campground. We're in one of three sites that were vacant uh, and it was tough to get those sites. So I'm thinking they may not have that many transient sites here. This is one of the hiking trails that's close to our campsite. We have not hiked it though. But I think at this campground they have several. And continuing around the loop here from our campsite, we are now heading towards the entrance of the campground, but it is a ways off in that direction there. I do believe that every single site in this campground is wooded. There are no sites that are out in the open unless there's part of the campground I have not been to yet. I do want to tell you guys, we uh, are here for two nights. Uh, it is amazingly quiet here during the day and in the evening. Very relaxing. Pretty much all you hear is nature. And we're coming around to the end of this loop here, and you can see where they join together, and it becomes two-way traffic. Our campsite's down that way. And we're coming up to this hill that I was talking about. It is quite steep. But you can see if a camper was coming up and a camper going down, it could get a little bit dicey. And right across from that hill, there is a dog exercise area. And it is quite large and has all these neat little obstacles for dogs. It does look like there's one road that's dedicated to just tents. And of course that would be called Tent Road. Uh, when we opened this video, I forgot to mention to you guys, we are visiting this campground in the summer of 2020 during the COVID-19 epidemic, epidemic, pandemic. Um, so yeah, things are a little bit different than they normally are, I suppose. Okay guys, now we're heading up towards the front of the campground where the camp store is and the main office, as well as the swimming pool. Off to the left here, there's camper storage, as well as more campsites on both sides. Okay, we're at the front of the campground now, and as you can see, there's the game room, the exercise room, as well as the laundry and restrooms. They even have this neat little 18-hole miniature golf course. Unfortunately, nobody's playing right now because of the COVID virus. Here's the camping store and main office. Hey, Chris is here. Some refrigerated foods, fishing stuff and batteries, camp equipment. A gumball machine, that's pretty cool. Here's some more camping equipment. They're stocked pretty good with this kind of stuff. That's cool. Microwave and coffee. Hamburgers. Ice cream. An ATM? Looks like they have snowballs here too. 
have ice here. If you want, you can play a game of checkers or wash your clothes in this old washing machine. Looks like maybe they have, uh, not exactly sure what that is. I've seen it before, but I was gonna say Frisbee golf, but I don't think that's what it is. And as we head down here to the common pavilion, they have a fishing pond, which looks really nice. And here is the catch and release pond. Yes, that is a fake swan. And here's a nice little dock that you can fish off of if you'd like. Give you guys one last view. There's a big bouncy pad for the kids over there. And we're walking back up here to the camp store. I also want to let you guys know that this campground offers free Wi-Fi. Back where we were, I really couldn't connect to the Wi-Fi, but I was just up front, and as you can see on the screenshot, I got an incredible 110 megabits per second down and almost 40 megabits per second up on speed test. That's impressive. They just need to get some more access points near the back of this campground, and it'd be phenomenal. Okay, I just want to give you guys one last view coming up into the back area of the campground where we're staying. And once again, I think that's where most of the transient sites are. But I need to talk to the office and confirm that. Once again, this is Tent Road. This is where tents are set up. So of course, I guess they would be considered transient. So finishing out our tour, our friends are right here in this site. There's an empty site between us. And of course, there's our site. We are staying in site G17. This site offers water, electric, and sewer, as well as cable TV. We don't have the cable TV hooked up right now, but we are using the water, electric, and the sewer. I don't have the sewer hooked up. But I just want to show you guys real quick what the water hookup looks like. It's in a pit. And there is a faucet in the bottom of the pit so just be aware if you come here you might experience this and there's a toad in there with our water have to help him out of there this site offers it looks like 50 130 and 15 amp well, everyone, that's going to do it for our quick walkthrough of Ramblin' Pines here in Woodbine, Maryland. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out the link that I leave in the description to find out more about this park. Thanks again, guys. Take care. us to the end of the video. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and check out our other videos.